Last night at 11, we introduced you to the men behind Code 22. That's what they're calling this Saturday, a day for the city to go without violence, domestic or gun. And they're not just asking, they're demanding it and even ready to march through the streets to make sure it happens. But can it work? I went to some neighborhoods today to ask Detroiters that very question. Do you know what a Code 22 is? No. What is it? No. No, what's that all about? People may not know Code 22 yet, but they do have an opinion on whether there's a chance to stop violence in the city even for one day. It's the sign of the times. Like I said, you know, it's, it's just the end of the day. It's, things ain't going to get better. It's going to get worse. People want the neighborhood to change. They don't want to hear gunshots every night. My brother was a police officer. They got killed. Anthony Andrews lost his brother in 1975. He was a Wayne County deputy gunned down in an attempted robbery. You know, they know what's going on out here in these streets. These streets are rough. He knows the hurt, but his girlfriend knows the pain. He just came out of from a vacant house. Michelle Bradley came home from work three years ago and parked on the street when a man came up alongside ordering her to get out of the car. What saved my life, I kind of tilted to the side on the um, passenger side and got out the car because he started shooting inside the car, the car. So I was shot three times. She barely survived and still relives it. But through all that, she and Anthony think movements like Code 22 can have an impact. The more people talk about it, the more to be out there, you know. The more demonstrations, the more people get together, the more people march and talk about it, you know, it's awareness. Nothing's guaranteed, but you know, it's worth a try. And the more people come out, the more um, people involved, I think it can change things. And that's the plan. Code 22 is set for this Saturday, the 22nd and the 22nd of every month this summer to stop the violence. We'll be out talking to Detroiters leading up to Saturday. And by the way, Michelle Shooter was caught a year later and is currently in prison. So